Lifter, and this is my 99 SF Subaru Forester. As far as the mod list goes, Subaru Forester GT turbo engine, EJ205. Stock unopened motor, running an Autronic SM2 standalone ECU. It's got a full straight pipe from the turbo back, so it sounds very nice. And you can hear all the spoolie boy sounds, so. <laughs> Doesn't sound nice. It sounds pretty good, but <laughs> it's it's very loud. There we go. So I don't really know too much about foresters, but Olga has uh, enlightened me about them. We just went around some corners before, and this thing is crazy around corners for being such a like a family sedan. Or sorry, a family car. It's it's very impressive in the way that corners and stuff. STI intake manifold with the TGV delete, uh, a VF23 ball bearing IHI turbo, uh, 565 cc STI blue injectors, three and a half inch catless dump pipe with no muffler, no resonator, and yeah, all straight through. Got the AVO turbo inlet manifold, parent up pipe, some sort of like maybe a hyperflow top mount intercooler. Every most of the parts in terms of like pretty much the whole build have been bought second hand, uh, apart from a couple of things. Team coilovers, uh, super wagon coilovers with white line camber bolts. Uh, it's got white line rear camber and toe arms, uh, white line front rear strut braces, all the bushes are white line, it's got the white line anti-lift kit, white line ball joints, uh, tie rod end. Benches at the moment, Hankook Benches RS4, which is just a 200 treadwear, you know, semi slick sort of good for street and good for driving in the rain. But next, I'll be getting AR1 Nankangs, and it's got the NK RPF1 uh, 17 by 8 plus 45 WRX passenger seat and a fellow Apex driver's seat, which I've recently installed. It's got a Momo Proto Tipo steering wheel, which is really beautiful steering wheel. In terms of cosmetics, I mean, I, there was a time where I wanted this to, to go in a different direction, but I just wanted it to look reasonably nice. So it's got a front STI, STB STI, second generation front bar, and it's got the Corazon side skirts and Corazon rear bar, uh, which are, I think there's three of these in Australia, which is quite cool. And it's got the JDM lights, JDM folding mirrors, JDM option spoiler. I've got a, it, it, the car's been on a diet. Um, it's it's obviously got no rear interior, no seats. The car, because it's a um, base model non-turbo, it came with no ABS and no airbags from factory, which saves, you know, probably like 100 kilos or something. I'm not quite sure, but maybe maybe 50, maybe 100 kilos, I'm not sure. The stereo and the speakers out and put some gauges in. There's obviously no spare tire and it weighs in at about 1300 kilos, which is quite good. People don't really expect that people, you know, the, with a stock GT Forester turbo, weighs in at about, yeah, one and a half tonnes. So I've saved some weight and that definitely makes a difference. Yeah.
real good feel for the car. He's gonna show us exactly how oh. this thing goes around corners and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, just not die. <laughs> Now a lot of people wouldn't expect a Forester to corner and perform that good and it definitely surprised me when I was going around those corners and it was just gripping that well. Um, massive thank you to Olga. Funny story, we actually met because he teaches piano next door to my neighbours. So he brought his Forester around and obviously while we're working on our cars, um, he, he was curious and he came around and said hello and that's where it all began. Unfortunately, we have been missing some videos this week because I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but I'm pretty unwell. But just a quick little update before we end today's video. Um, we did some stuff to the BMW, so get prepared to get some videos on that soon, if you're following that build, of course. Now, I forgot to mention as well, Olga actually makes his own music. A lot of the music in the video is actually made by him, so make sure you check out his SoundCloud. The link in the description will be down below. And honestly, talking about the car again, I was mind blown about how a car like that could corner. I was saying a lot while I was driving, I didn't include it much in the footage, but a Forester, guys. This is like a family, you know, little get out car, and it just, goes around corners like it's on a rail, so there you go.